the 12th ASABE Historic Landmark was designated in recognition of the first successful row crop tractor. The farm tractor is likely the most recognized technological development in agriculture in the first half of the 20th century. It changed the very nature of farm work. As early as the 1870s, engineers had succeeded in producing steam tractors. But weighing in excess of 30,000 pounds, these machines were dangerous and fuel requirements made them unusable for most farms. With the commercialization of the internal combustion engine, a more practical alternative emerged. The first internal combustion engine tractors were also heavy, with huge steel wheels or tracks. However, this quickly changed. When Ford introduced its Fordson model, the first successful small tractor, average weights were down to between 2,000 and 6,000 pounds. Prices for the Fordson were under $1,000. Competition led International Harvester to make significant improvements. Leading the way was ASAE member Burt Benjamin. Burt Benjamin was born in Newton, Iowa in 1870. He received a Bachelor of Science degree in 1893 from Iowa State College and went on to spend 47 years with McCormick Harvesting Machine Company and International Harvester Company. Mr. Benjamin was granted 140 patents. He developed the power takeoff system which quickly became a standard feature on all tractors. However, he is best known for development of the Farmall tractor. Introduced in 1924, this multi-purpose Farmall tractor was a lighter design with high power to weight ratio, a narrow front with a single guide wheel, and precision steering for cultivation. A key success factor was a unified system of tractor and matching implements for plowing, cultivating, and harvesting. The Farmall became one of the most popular tractors ever. Within six years, International Harvester had sold 100,000 of them. The company redesigned and expanded the Farmall line in the early 1930s to include three different models. With so many Farmalls on the public roads, International Harvester switched from gray to red paint as a safety feature in 1936. Competitors rushed to develop a general purpose tractor, a GP of their own, and by the mid-1930s, GPs had replaced the standard Fordson type tractor. The wholesale replacement of the horse began in earnest with the new tractor design. Bert Benjamin was the 12th recipient of the ASAE Cyrus Hall McCormick Gold Medal in 1943. A commemorative plaque for this landmark is at the site where the first successful row crop tractor was operated, now the CNH Agricultural Equipment Center in Hinsdale, Illinois.